Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I will guide you how you can easily use Simplify. This is a step-by-step -step complete tutorial and I believe after watching this video you will have a better understanding on how you can use it. So I'm just right now in a start where you will get when you're going to create your account. So here I'll just click here let's get started. Now I'll simply add first name last name zip code and then you're going to continue. Then add your accounts to see all your funds in place, track multiple account types, include bank accounts, invest in more. And what you can do when you're going to be here, simply click add account. So I can simply add here a bank account or you can e even like add uh, investing, whatever you want. Like I'm from Europe, so I will I don't use any of these, but you can simply connect it with, right? Or you can see add manual account here. So I'll add account name. That's my bank name. And let's say banking checking account. And balance, let's say I have 8,000 euro there. Date uh, for today is like OK. And continue. Now I can simply add another account. And I can add another account. And let's say I have. Uh, asset real estate so account name property and I, let's just let's just add here all the things that you have property I have 25 oh that's like even more now oh, 45,000 euro value my property has and then I'm going to add also my I have a car of car value about 45,000 euro and then another account that I will add here account time I can have you can have credit here savings I don't have any loans and let's say I have a brokerage and now trading in investment account I got about 20 22k so then I'll press continue. So you can simply connect all the transactions here and you would find the transactions and then you press continue. So when you're going to have connect everything. So you can always start a tour here and budget with spending plan. Simplify budgeting Nicole calculates your income bills and savings for the month to show you what's left to spend. Drop upcoming payments. Monitor spending with watch list. Set aside money for your goals. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. Okay. So in the moment when you're going to be here, what we can find in the dashboard, we're going to have the accounts. Of course, like my net worth is higher than this. I'll combine when I have also my business account that I don't have here. Uh, but I have to pay taxes there. So that's like a different talk. <laughs> and of course, you're going to have the spending plan here. And you can always click here, get started. So what will you use to automatically build your monthly pen income, bills and subscriptions, other spending. So I can click, let's go here. And let's see, uh, we are right now in a second, like the third thing here. Review income, add your income here. Amounts update to match actual amounts. Okay. Review bills, plan spending. So. Let's say I can simply add an income here. And you're going to have like income that you can add manually or let's say that you have connect with your bank account. So let's say YouTube income recurring amount. Let's say $10,000 every every month and account this one personal income and you would add like a category here. And then you can also have visibility here, ignore from reports, etc. Wait a second, I need to like zoom in out a little bit. Like this, you're going to choose the frequ frequency every month here. Account, bank. Okay, and we got it right here. Then we're going to have the bills here. So I can simply add a bill. Okay, 
I can add manually here. So name can be uh, I don't know uh, <laughs> rent then recurring amount 2500 every month account bank category it's going to be home rent and create okay and here we got it so we see well it was 7500 then we're gonna have the subscriptions here so again I can simply add a subscription and name can be uh, Netflix I don't know how much you even pay for Netflix like ten dollars I don't know ten dollars every month account bank account again and then it's going to be subscription so again I have create here and here I would add subscription that I have that I know that I have every month so Spotify uh, then Netflix I got also for hosting but it's a business expense and then you can have the saving goals so let's say that you want to have some kind of goals here uh, and you can again click add a goal so what, what, for what you're gonna have a goal emergency fund car vacation home wedding custom so me I have a goal to build a tiny house like we have the property it's a 3000 meters square next to the beautiful forest and there's a, a water coming from the forest and we're gonna have our own well so let's say that I'm a ho for home and so like right now the wood prices went like off the charts everything is much more expensive if I want to build stuff so I need at least 90,000 combined with the well which is going to cost me like 7k uh, 80k 35 meters square like a really great tiny house modern it's I want to have it as right now as a weekend home that I can like go chill out there but yeah saved so far I have about I don't know 20k right now account bank so let's say like this continue and then you see right now so tar target goal date set month uh, for until March <laughs> and monthly contribution needs to be like how what is going to be my monthly contribution So right now it's until September if I'm going to invest like 5,000 you will finish this goal late change date to January 2024 or change your monthly contribution to 11,000 so to get to the point that I would have a goal amount of 90k I need to save and contribute uh, $11,000 which is like goddamn like goddamn but again I work hard I play hard and I can do it <laughs> so right now I would click like okay so let's change it to 11,000 I'm just playing around so you can like see how it how to understand it then I press continue and create a goal and this is how you can simply create a goals here right so I can again in the saving goals I can again pl click plus here and I can have a wedding or let's say we want to go for vacation I already have emergency fund so vacation goal amount can be 5000 and we're gonna spend it through the whole year because like right now I decided I'm going to track a cheap flight and then when there is like a really good cheap flight somewhere I'm going to take my girlfriend and a kid somewhere so saved so far account okay I saved zero all right and then month I'm going to have for June and I need to invest like 1000 to it but you can always change the dates and everything here and then you're gonna press continue like it's really amazing if you're gonna have connected directly to your account 
if you can have connect your bank account this is perfect application but right now i'm just like filling you in on how we can use it so right now we have the income we have the bills we have the subscription and saving goals and we are in a overspend huge minus only because i have huge saving goals so of course this is just example but here you would find a spending plan which is really easy to understand and use and then when you're going to go back to dashboard you're always going to find the net worth the spending plan the plan spending so you can always add the expense here you can have spent uh, for today and let's say that i would have connected my bank account so you would see that i paid for food today like 12 euro or 12 like 14 dollars and then stop spending categories that you would have saving goals you would find here watch list spending in the last six months some income here achievements investments so you can simply also add investment accounts here and i can simply on the plan spending add the expense right here and i can have one time expense or monthly so i can have one time expense and let's say it's going to be for it was a car service and parts i paid for the front front uh window 150 dollars and it's going to be front window i paid it for this month and okay right now we see that spending 150 okay that's the spending that we have right now so right now this is how we do it okay then under dashboard you're gonna have transactions of everything what is happening uh so right now you see the accounts here you see the transaction activity so this is much better and much clearer to understand comparing to for example for me when i have my bank application this is like much more better in my opinion it's like top notch then you're gonna have the upcoming here so we're gonna have the upcoming things that you like incomes and also uh what is going to come to your way so let's say netflix subscription then you're gonna have the watch list and you can simply follow a category or payee with specific business so let's say that you will love buying games from steam and you can't help yourself so you're gonna track about how much you actually spend um so this is where you can have the watch list and then like let's say i'm a lot longer ordering from world it's a application for ordering food and let's say that i want to cook more and not ordering all the time because i'm spending like 1k a, a month just for the food when i'm ordering so right now i can track it so and i'm already doing it but not with this application but again that's that's something you can definitely do and in my opinion it's effective so you can have a watch list here so we can have category or payee so let's say it's going to be rent and then we have it right here so you see that you can have spending watch list on whatever you want so you can have it also for netflix you can have it for books that you're buying audible amazon so let's say you're binge buying from amazon or some sweet stuff and you want to really limit it how much money you actually spend there and then under watch list you're going to have reports here so in the reports you would have information about everything what is actually happening uh, on your account so that's like really similar comparing to transactions but uh, much much deeper and that's pretty much it and then you can have also the investments here under reports so investments uh, i don't have anything yet so i can simply click add here and i can have trading account stock or options so i have like i don't know i have a lot of bot stocks so i will just write here etf yeah i'm losing so much money on arc innovation like if i'm going to show you how much money i'm actually losing there I got like, do you know where did I get in ARC? I'll show you. <laughs> uh, ARC. Stock. Right now it's a little bit, uh, not that better. I get like here. Bam. Half of my money are gone. 
and everyone was so bullish about how amazing application is, right? How amazing ETF it is. So shares quantity, I got like, I don't know, 100. Now ah, 50, I guess. And then I can simply click add here. And I see that when you are going to have the trading account in simplify money, you're always going to find the taste change. Like if the market is going down, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> like too much uh, checking it up in my opinion. So you're always going to have uh, the value and that's pretty much it. And what I would recommend guys, if you're investing, set up stop loss because I lost so much money, not a lot of money, but I had like nine, 10 K in profit, but I had it all in stocks and I was working and I was focusing on work, creating businesses and projects. And it dropped the one stock that I had, it was like profit of 4K. I should have stopped, have a stop loss and I didn't do it. So right now um, it dropped even below those 4K that I earned and I'm in minus, yep. And I don't know if it's going to recover, but I'm not going to sell, but it, because I believe that company is good. So right now you see that investment and balances, you see that for today change, uh, you can have all the portfolio and then you can have the goals that we have the vacation and home here. That's the last thing that you're going to find. And that's like also pretty good here. I mean, like this app is a top notch and I made a lot of tutorials guys, a lot of tutorials. And I'm going to tell you like this app is one of the best from the user experience and user interface, in my opinion, is one of the best applications you can have. And I'm not kidding. I like it that much. And you can always go to settings and set up accounts, category stacks, notifications, recurring, uh, like what is actually recurring bills, recurring subscriptions, etc. And that's pretty much it. So when that, thank you very much for watching guys. If you're going to have like any questions, uh, let me down in comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. And yeah. Yeah, not a lot of people are using it yet. And that's how we can do it. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.